Hey, it's Polly from Polly's Backyard, and today I'm going to be talking about how I train my dogs to share the backyard with my free range of chickens. In this video, I'm going to show you the step by step process that I take to integrate my chicks with my dogs, and I'm going to also go over the differences if your dogs aren't used to chickens that you need to take. These are my two dogs, Yay. Sophie and Nova. Sophie's my protector, she's the one on the left, and Nova is the sweetheart on the right. I currently have four Rhode Island Reds in my existing flock. One, I had five, but one was taken by a raccoon, unfortunately. They free range my backyard. Uh, my dogs don't mind them, they actually get along well. Sophie, over there on the left, actually saved one from a hawk attack. I was able to fend off the hawk and get the chicken free, and the chicken survived. They like to play with the chickens. Uh, Sophie likes to get them down on the ground, smell them, but that's just about the extent of it. But besides that, they kind of just ignore each other. I recently got five new chicks. I have three black stars, which are about a month and a half old, about, and I have two silkies, which are about two to three weeks old. Not only do I have to worry about integrating them with my existing flock, I have to worry about integrating them with the dogs, because the dogs aren't used to these chicks. The first step I take is exposure. Guarded, protected exposure with the dogs every single day. I let the dogs into the bathroom where their chicken brooder is so they could see them, get used to their smell. I'll even take the top fencing off here and I'll let them kind of get a little bit closer. Just get their smell get them used to seeing them every single day I do this and you can start this step as soon as you get your chicks once your dogs don't get excited from the last step move on to the next one which is actually pulling the chicken out letting them see it smell it kind of put their noses up to it don't be surprised if they nip at the chicken just a little bit just push them back and keep doing this every once in a while until they're not excited anymore just like Sophie was there she could care less now This next step is really where the pieces of the puzzle start to connect. We're going to put the chickens outside in a visible area and a safe area where the dogs can't get to them. I use a dog crate. Uh, if you have a fenced-in coop area already that's outside, then that would work perfectly fine. Really, the goal is just to, for the dogs to see the chickens in the yard. So eventually, they just become another piece of the backyard where they don't get excited, they don't care about them, they're just there, they're part of the backyard. Make sure during this step that the chickens kind of have a safe side, uh, whether it be up against a building or if you, you have a fenced in area anyway, then kind of that one side, like I put the bottom of the dog crate up against the side, that way they feel like they could go to that one side and it's safe. There's no dogs over there. You don't want them feeling like they're stranded on a boat with a bunch of sharks surrounding them. Just like the segue into the other steps, we don't want to move on until our dogs aren't snapping at the cage. They're not excited. They're just kind of watching them and hanging out and being around. Nova really loves the chickens, so she just likes to hang out with them. Once we feel like our dogs are ready, it's time to move on to the next step, which is going to be to put them back in their cage or fence or wherever, and we're going to leave the gate open to let them free range. If you have dogs that are new to chickens, this is the first time you're doing this, they need to be on a leash. I'm going to say that again. They need to be on a leash. doesn't matter how well behaved your dog is, you're going to have no idea how your dog is going to react when it's out in the open with one of these chickens. It could either bite it and kill it, or it could be trying to play with it and step on it, and either just isn't any good. If you have dogs that are used to chickens, like mine, they need to be heavily supervised, because you don't know how they're going to react to the new chickens. They're going to be smaller. As you see here, Sophie's all got all riled up. I was trying to play with the new chicks. 
So you really need to be there to supervise and make sure everything's okay. If your dog is on a leash in this step, it really becomes a two-part step for you. Uh, once you feel comfortable after some time and exposure, uh, let the dog off the leash and supervise it. It's really important during this step to put them near or in the cage or the coop area, wherever they were in the last step. You don't want to just put them out in the open. That way they know they have a safe space to go to, to run to, to get away from the dogs, and they don't feel as stressed. Another extremely important part about this step is that your chickens need to be old enough for this. Uh, the bigger your dog, the older they should be. These black stars are probably about two to three months old at this point. They have all their adult feathers. They're getting a little bit bigger. They're able to take a paw if, like before that you saw the dogs get excited and try to play with them, that it's really not going to hurt them that bad. These silkies are way too young. They're only a month and a half old at this point. Uh, and they're a small chicken breed as it is. Uh, so if they take a paw from these medium-sized dogs, it's really going to hurt them. So you really need to make sure that your chickens are big enough. The bigger the dog, the longer you should wait for the step. I trusted my dogs a little bit too much. Um, I put the silkies out there with them. Uh, it really almost bit me in the butt. Nova tried to play with them, which you'll see here. And it, it did really almost bite me in the butt. Do not, do not put your chickens out if they're that small. Even if your dogs are used to chickens, uh, if they try to play with them, it can easily hurt or kill them. So even, like I said, even if your dogs are used to chickens, do not let them free range like that without your dog being on a leash when they're that small. This is my coop area. I have a fenced in area about 20 by 20. The chickens free range so they could come in and out easily but this just gives them a space where they can get away from the dogs. They can eat without the dogs bothering them and it's just it's just a nice safe space for them to be on their own. I just built this little doorway for him out of wood. Uh, it's pinched in by the fence. It works well with my dogs. Uh, they can't get in or out because they don't like to jump over in tight spaces. And I have a little bungee cord that can go across and lock it off if they try to jump over. But they don't like to feel pinched, so they don't go for it. So this works really well for my dogs, but it probably and definitely does not work for all dogs. Uh, most dogs can easily jump in and get in, but it works out well for me. If you have a dog that likes to jump and get into things, then you're going to need to build something a little bit sturdier. Even with my dogs being used to chickens, that last step took two weeks of them being supervised outside with them for a couple hours every night. Uh, but eventually the dogs just get used to them and it becomes another thing uh, but that last step is definitely the one you want to take the most time on with your dogs on a leash free ranging you want to make sure that your dogs are good with the chickens before you leave them unsupervised not all dogs are the same some dogs it'll take a week other dogs it might take a month of constant exposure with them on a leash with them to get used to them every dog's going to be different from start to finish this whole process took me about two, two and a half months and that's with my dogs being used to chickens. So take your time and make sure they're good before you let them go because there'll be nothing worse than coming home to a dead chicken and it's your dog that did it. And you may have to accept with your dog that if they keep being aggressive or want to play with them too rough then maybe it's it just won't happen, so you need to take that in consideration. Mine actually, uh, they, they, uh, they're less afraid of the dogs than they are the other chickens. Uh, and it was easier to integrate them with the dogs than it was the chicken flock, which I'll make another video on that. But Rhode Island Reds are very defensive of their space, so that was actually a lot harder. So my chickens actually run towards the dogs before they run towards the other chickens. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope you learned something and gives you some ideas to help you out. 
please just especially if your dogs are new to chickens take your time and it's all about constant exposure you don't want to be too careful you never know what your dog's going to do especially if it's never been that situation so thank you again for watching and i hope it works out for you